All right, happy new year. Take my, I don't want to be in the sun. Happy new years. And thank you to everybody that helped me hit a thousand subscribers. When I started this channel, it was just for fun, as you guys know. And, uh, you know, I started taking it a little bit more serious this year because, well, quite honestly, I just started going a lot more places. The truck was having uh, a good time traveling, meeting a lot of people, and figured I'd share it all with you. And when I say the truck was having a good time, trust me, it, it was. It treated me well, so she must have been enjoying it. And you've been getting some value out of the uh, YouTube videos, right? As they say, go like, share, and subscribe. Like. I guess that's the big thing. There's buttons that are supposed to be around that smart people know how to use that you could hit right now to do all that, but that's right. She's uncovered the Supra. And uh, today we're gonna move her from the side here where she's pretty much been living and uh, get her in the garage and spend a day working on her today. I don't know a lot about this car. I don't know a lot about these cars in general. I have the guy who was the original owner to the brother that owned this car who since passed away and that's who we acquired it from. Um, he's going to come over and tell us about the car a bit. We've cleaned it out. We've done as much as we can with it. That's my knowledge base. I want to get a little bit of background info from him. He's going to help me sort it out, maybe get it running, get the tank dropped, get it flushed, see if the fuel pump's any good. And uh, we'll get this thing fired up and running and it's probably going to be a little build series all of her own that I'll put down below. You know, we'll start a little playlist for her and we'll see how far she goes. I'm starting to get a hankering for these older 90s cars that I missed out on. I, this wasn't really my thing, you know. Trucks were kind of my thing. But but I'm I'm feeling why people dug these cars so much. They're, they're pretty cool. If anybody out there has a good fender or a car that has a dash, first order of business to get this into uh, the garage. Let's change that flat tire. There was one tight one. I think this is how the drift guys do it, right? Never have matching tires. Matter of fact, it's got uh, four completely different wheels all the way around. So technically, here's the owner of this fine automobile. I just woke him up to come out here and help with Project Supra today. Now I gotta edit that out because our street sign's in it. Because you kept walking forward. I'm sorry. It's good. I put a little blurry thing right there and no one will ever know where we live so they can't send you fan mail or offers for this fine ride. All right, I'm completely exhausted. If you have friends, help them move your car. If you don't have friends, make friends first so they can help you push your car. What kind of engine am I looking at, Brad? What is this? 7M GE, twin cam, 24 valve, 3,000, right? What does that mean? I don't know, I just read the valve cover. No, he means back. like an electric wiring diagram to find out what's going on like with those wires that, that are spliced and stuff. All right, so here's where we're at. The car won't start on its own. We'll not start off the key. We don't know why the fuel pump's not turning on or why the car's not running. We can bump it with the starter and she turns right over, but she's not getting power like she should, is what we suspect. Why? Why? Look at the way I'm dressed. I think it was freezing outside. In all fairness, it's like 65 today or something. I don't like the cold. And I know some of you consider that great weather, but I mean, it's sunny. Just don't like the cold. Figure I'm gonna fix some hokey stuff today. Hokey stuff on my truck is the goal for 2024. Why? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a lot of this stuff anyways, but I'm just bored. It's Sunday and I'm tired of 
weird stuff like that. Look, it like hangs down into the... How many of you have this problem with this weird aftermarket cheap eBay kit stuff? And then it just, it's bending the whole door support. Look at this mess over here. You know, he was just kind of hanging out. Everything's kind of zip tied to this AC hose. The battery is just kind of there. What's left of the power is just kind of, I mean, this is pretty not, this is pretty embarrassing. Most people probably wouldn't even show this. Like this is not, this is not good. You know, there's a lot of things, airbags and paint and stuff that I just haven't addressed. And I keep saying it's because I'm just gonna take care of it when I body drop it, but we all know that's probably not true. I'm bored today. I'm gonna tinker some stuff. Let's see what we can do about this. I'm, um, I've got some random bits and bods and pieces and things from making some stuff poorly on other projects. So we'll see if we can't, I don't know. My great little workbench again, you know, meaning the floor. All right, so this is what I came up with so far. Actually, we'll do this in real time. I think the smarter thing to do is there is no reason to cut this guy off. Or maybe we even do something like that. We'll leave this guy here for now. No. Doing things a little different at this car show. Okay. Might as well, uh, you know, sell a few things while we're out here. A small business action, some Christmas coffins. Right? Look at all these goods over here. Somebody was selling some like new, uh, new snap. It's early. We're just getting set up. Bear with us. I like the. How do you think we pay for all this cool mini truck stuff, right, Steve? That's right. Gotta slang some coffins. Gotta sell stuff. Yeah. So.